Hello everybody, welcome to today's Crop Walk. Today we'll be featuring our guest speaker, Dale Rizula, who is the Ministry of Agriculture's Specialty Crop Specialist. So today we're going to look at some of the plots uh, that ICBC has that include specialty crops. We'll be going over crops such as quinoa, soybean, fava bean, and hemp. So starting off here, we're in front of uh, our ICBC's nitrogen rate study for quinoa plots. And uh, I'll just ask Dale some uh, general questions about quinoa and uh, see what he has to say. So uh, Dale, why do you people try to grow quinoa in Saskatchewan? What's the, what's the point of this? Uh, thanks Joel, and thanks for inviting me out here today. And uh, it's uh, good to be here out in the countryside. And certainly uh, quinoa, as you mentioned, is starting to become a very popular crop, uh, both uh, in Canada as well as in the US. It's a uh, crop that originated out of, out of uh, South America, and it's grown in a climate that our, our climate has similarities to it, uh, something that is possible to be grown here uh, for, for production. And I, I think it's probably uh, very popular because of the health food industry, who are looking mostly at uh, quinoa, a source of, uh, a, of a type of grain that is quite variable and it's uh, it really depends on, on how things are set up in, in the field. Uh, perhaps the, the biggest obstacle is going to be weed control and we don't, uh, there are no registered products yet for controlling weeds so getting a field that's pretty much we, uh, weed free to, to begin with is, uh, is really important. Then of course the environment and, and how the year progresses is going to make a difference in that as well. Saskatchewan. Uh, most most of it is actually grown perhaps um, north of the Yellowhead Highway in, into that area, that part of the province, uh, where it can be a little cooler than some of the southern areas. And um, it likes that kind of uh, environment. And the yields um, can be anywhere from you know a minimum of low level of, of 300 pounds an acre to as high as 2,000 pounds an acre. But I'd, I'd have to say the average would probably be around 800. Okay. Maybe a thousand. Okay. And the other obstacles uh, that producers should know about uh, before doing this crop in their mix? Well, it's basically uh, relatively new and there really aren't a whole lot of registered products for, uh, for growing quinoa in, in Saskatchewan or in, in Canada yet. Uh, so weed of course, the number one issue. And, and there are some insect problems as well. And uh, this year there's been a, a corn, uh, a borer type of uh, insect. Of course, there's no insecticides yet for controlling this uh, this insect, and we don't know the extent of the damage. But obviously, it's it's going to affect the yield to some degree because it's going to affect the flow of nutrient and moisture up to the to the grain as it's filling. That's good to know. So, yeah, since there's no registered products at the moment for that, this problem, uh, yeah, we can take back any work being done to look at insecticides and herbicides for quinoa? There's been some work uh, put forward in the minor use program uh, where applications have, have been submitted to uh, that uh, Agriculture and Agri-Food Canada for, for research, uh, extra research work in Take some getting used to. Uh, I think it's important though uh, because. 
company that's offering contracts with you Northwind in Saskatoon. Okay, it's good to know. Well, thanks a lot, Dale. I think we're going to move on now to our uh, soybean plots. So we'll be, I'll have to drive out to another site, but we'll be back online in about 10 minutes. Thank you.